A day I know is going to be wild. It's Elden Ring. It's Elden Ring. You didn't see it coming, but it's here. Uh, how you guys doing? <laughs> We're going to keep playing. We're going to keep moving through the game. I'm loving my Koladin playthrough. Okay. The Koladin run continues. So we just talked to him about getting the golden needle. We got to go do that. We also got to clear this area out and light some torches. Is this still my first run? No, this is my third run. Mm -hmm. I've beaten the game with a dex build and a mage build. Now this is a strength build. Strength faith build. Well, mostly mostly just strength right now. But Probably evolve it a little bit as we go forward. Am I done with Elix? I'm pretty much done with Elix for now. I, I probably will go back. I'm hoping that they... The thing about Elix 2 that's kind of bugging me is not only am I not super invested, but I'm playing a range playthrough and, and right-click aiming has this kind of like weird floatiness to it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I do want to go back to Elix 2 someday, but I'm good right now at this moment in time. Well. Did you just miss completely? Sure. Sit down. Get got. Or all the people complaining about Melee being overpowered. He hits harder now than with his mage. <laughs> I'm just overpowered in general. I think the real issue here is that Ko is overpowered. Not not any particular build or anything. It's just it's just me. I'm overpowered. That's what it comes down to. Say that again when you reach millennia. I know, right? I know. I know. Oh my god. I am both anxiously anticipating and dreading that fight. I've not done Millennia as a melee yet, so that's one of the reasons I kind of wanted to do this playthrough. Do every boss as a melee. Do 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 As we see, Ko is off to an excellent start. Ha! How much is this going to give? Oh my god. Surely you jest. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> this right here, by the way, is the de facto. It's the best way to get runes in the game, but it's also, like, obviously the cheesiest. And they actually, what's hilarious is it used to be a lot more difficult to do this. And then last patch, they made it easier. <laughs> they made it easier to do this last patch. Because he used, used to not be able to really hit him from here. And then sometimes he wouldn't actually run off. But they fixed his pathing. So he always runs off now, no matter what you do. <laughs> so, I mean, you can just sit here. Like, imagine if you would sit here and do this for an hour. Imagine if you would sit here and do this for an hour. Just shoot, see this little, the little tiny two branches there? You just shoot right through it. Go back here, wait for the souls. Oh my lord. Yeah, for the record, if this was not my third playthrough, I would not be doing this. But it's my third playthrough, so whatever, we're having fun. Unethical, be darned. <laughs> I like the enigma. Not. Uh, it's not my fault that bird don't know what a cliff is. No, it's not my fault that bird don't know how to fly. I don't. I, I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta draw a line somewhere. And if it's a bird that can't fly and then it runs off a cliff, I mean, is that is that really my fault? Is that really my fault? I'm just trying. I'm just trying to teach that poor thing how to fly. I figure. I figure if I run him off the cliff, hundred, two hundred, three hundred times, that, that it, he'll he'll eventually learn how to fly. Those little birdie chicken wings he got, and he's gonna like he's gonna take the sky. It's gonna be like a Disney movie. It's gonna be like, oh look at him go, he's flying. Oh, he's so beautiful, Kia. It's gonna be great. <clears throat> I'm just trying to be healthy. 
I get some souls while doing it. I mean, you know, that's 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 just a dumb that's a double bonus. <clears throat> This tip is so good. If you ever have a waypoint on the map, instead of having to clear it up, open the map and clear it, just run through it. If you run through it, it disappears. It's so good. Hey, Letho, what's up, buddy? Wanna come up here? Letho comes down here so much. It's kind of great. You gotta get you a cat tower, man. Let me get you a little cat tower. Your little small cell. Hopefully it's going to be here uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Mm -hmm. The rain sound is so soothing. Isn't it nice? It really is. One sec. Normally, normally I would not take such a prolonged cat petting break, but I just moved this into this studio recently, and I would love for this little guy to feel more comfortable here. I'm trying to make him feel super comfy. My my last studio was on the second floor where the kids usually were, and Letho like never came by; it was too loud. So now I'm on the base. Now I'm in the basement. So he has become a lot more adventurous. good from a pet's human All right, can I get up on the tower with this even that far that sucked is that the wall is that the wall right there Or is it not? Oh god. Atis is a totally different quest you have to do first. Wait, seriously? Are we doing this? No. Are we we've already defeated Atis in his cave. Yes. Is this the right wall? This is not the right wall. No. I, I just wanted to check that wall's uh, sturdiness. You know, again, if they got me doing pest control, I might as well help with the engineering as well. I mean, I'm already here. Making sure the house is steady. An old house. Now. I'm here for hundreds of years. Yeah, I heard Patch's quest has actually like a good. Is it this one? No. Ow. Ow. This is this one. Are you using a faster weapon? No. I want to use this weapon. Look at that beefcake go. You see him?
You are hitting the wrong brick. True. This is our life now, by the way. This is our life. I'm too close. I'm hitting the wrong brick. Look at this guy, he's trying to roll. <laughs> I wonder if that works. Oh God. Oh, oh, I need to be naked. I need to take off all my clothes IRL. Is that how, that's how you do it? So am I sure I got the right wall? I'm pretty sure I saw a ghost go through it earlier. So I, I'm 90% I'm certain this is the right wall. I'm hitting the ceiling instead. I'm also hitting the front though. I'm doing both. You can also try like. Where is uh? Like this. That's that's that, well that's hitting the wall. Oh, and we did it! Woo! There we go. Okay. Awesome. We got there together. Applause, we got there together, please. chat. Thanks for hanging with me on that. Awesome. We did it. We made it through the fake wall. Never give up, never surrender. What in the hell is this thing? Going for the dick twist, Chad. Okay. I have never seen that mop before. gave him the old dick twist. This is a Paladin playthrough, which is a strength, vigor, endurance focus with a minor in faith. And I am doing a no summon run as well, so I'm not using any summons this time. No summon. That's just a personal preference. Some, the summoning, it, it's really interesting because like, uh, I, I heard somebody mention that the summoning was like not a big deal in this game and didn't make a big difference. Where I would actually say the exact opposite. That the summoning in this game is actually incredibly well developed. It's a huge deal. And it can completely change the feel and, and type of game that it is. Not just Mimic. Like, many different summons can do that. Um, it is it is incredibly cool. How they basically... Like, it, it's such a great way to alter the difficulty of your run. It, it, is, it is a really, really good system that makes the game incredibly easier if you if you want it to. That's great, I, I, I love systems like that. I love systems like that. Oh yeah, dude, Oleg? Oleg is absolutely incredible. That dude is a boss. He can solo bosses. Maybe like a crab or something here? Uh, there was, by the way, there, there was there was a crap there. Th th this game is all about doing things off the beaten path, especially from a UI perspective. And I think that there are definitely ways that they could creatively make it so you could more easily track quests. I do. Um, that being said, there is also something to be said for games that have zero handholding. I think that's that's kind of cool as well. One thing that I think would be great is if right here, in here, there was a characters thing. And when you went into the characters thing, you could get a log of everything that character has ever said to you. That's it. I don't think that's going too far crazy with it. Not a quest log. But just like, I think it'd be super cool to be able to easily call up and see what the last thing a person said to you is. 
I think that would be awesome. And, and, I, and I don't think that goes too far against the games like, you know, forge your own path kind of feeling. So, um, yeah, you know, I will say that it's clear they're thinking about it. I mean, we now have the icons on the map as of last patch. It's clear they're thinking about it. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of see how far they go with it, you know. Jerkface says, you better be playing a character in the next Witcher. Well, of course, I, I would love to. Um, they did already give me an amazing opportunity and chance in Cyberpunk. So I would be very surprised if they offered something in the next Witcher game. Um, that being said, Jesse Cox uh, tweeted out how much he would like to be in the next game as well. And he mentioned, uh, I, I was like, oh yeah, dude, you know, I would love to be in it too. And he kind of went, ah, two-headed ogre. So for the record, I would love to be a two-headed ogre with Jesse Cox, especially if one of us, especially if they both think diametrically opposite and argue, I think that'd be amazing. So um, just saying, uh, CDPR, that's an awesome idea. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> that, that would be amazing. Aaron Noir, does anyone know why Co stopped being a DJ? Uh, two reasons. I, I stopped being a DJ because I started doing shows and I did all right. I had a, a very minor residency at a, at a place um, in North Carolina. And, you know, I, I, did a, I did a couple raves and larger events. And one of the things that I was really starting to realize with DJing is um, twofold. First of all, the music that I really liked uh, was probably not the most popular kind of music. I, I really like electro and like, um, like really, I, I don't really like a lot of poppy DJ stuff. And that's definitely not the most popular, but more importantly, and, th and this was the thing that really made me realize that I didn't think DJing was for me. Um, I learned fundamentally that DJing is basically 10 to 15% talent and 85% networking. And I'm not exactly the late night party animal. Um, one of the, the, the more telling examples of that is I remember when I did a set once and uh, you know, it was, it was really, my, my, my time was like 11 and I, and I think I went until like 1230. And of course, right after I come back, like, hey, come to the after party. And, um, you know, I was like, oh, man, I'm going, I'm going home. I'm going home and going to bed. And there was another big event the next weekend that I was actually looking, I was kind of hinted at and told that I was, you know, going to get a, a good spot there. And when I, when I asked about it, they just kind of like matter of factly were like, oh, well, I mean, you didn't, you weren't at the party. I was like, yeah. They were like, you weren't at the party. And it's, it was just kind of like, oh, okay. And basically what, what I, what I realized and later learned that inferred is it's kind of like every, every, the, the whole thing is basically like who, you know, and you know, who, who gets the best slots is all about who people are liking at the time. And, and the more I looked into it, the more I realized that's just how it was going to be everywhere. That was the whole, the whole scene was basically that way. Um, it was all about who you knew and, and who you could get in and, and going out late and staying out late and schmoozing with people and, you know, doing that stuff. And uh, not for me, man. <laughs> it's not really for me. It wasn't really my jam. Yeah. So, yeah, I kind of I, I did all right. I had I had fun. You know, I made some money, but I, I didn't. I realized that's not what I wanted to do with my life. It's not what I wanted to do with long terms. I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to kind of, you know, really start focusing on that, which I realized I would have to do if I wanted, if I wanted to keep things going in the direction that I wanted them to, I was going to have to really start doing that stuff. Um, you know, so just, I, I decided it wasn't my scene mm -hmm. and then Kobe became a stripper. Well, no, I mean, I didn't become a stripper. It's called a Chippendale. Oh, hey, this, I don't like this at all. Um, oh God, he warped down to me. Um, oh, shit. This is actually terrible. God damn it, I'm stuck! Ugh, God! 
I just got completely wombo. Completely wombo. Oh my god. Infuriating. Jesus Christ, dude! Get your ass back here! What are you doing? Jerk. Okay, where'd the other guy go? I'll take it. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I can't even see if my character is, is drinking the potion like I'm spamming the button to. Damn it, dude. There we go. Oh! What a jerk! Mirai Executioner Sword and Briar Great. Hello? Oh, hey. Hi. Come here. How are you, little guy? Oh, look at you. You little smiley man. You want to say hi? This is little Asher for those that haven't, haven't seen him. Yeah? You an Elden Ring fan? Yeah? Big smiles, huh? Hey, can you go... That's right. <laughs> eh. I know. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of people saying hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hi. You can read all that, right? Yeah. You can read That's all that. Work. Yeah. <laughs> you see what you're doing? Yeah. He just smiles a lot. Yeah, That's all he's, he does. He he's, just smiles a lot. How oh, the horses? They're doing great. They're doing great. Mm -mm. Okay. You ready? Oh, oh, and now it's even Booker, too. Oh, man. We got babies. We got Bookers. We got Lena's. We got everyone tonight. He's a good little man. Yeah, the other, the other kids are sleeping. Everyone else is sleeping. I'm like rebel. Mm-hmm. You're a rebel. You know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, just smack, 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 smack. <laughs> Take that, Dad. 
back. They try it. We're gonna try it. Oh god. <clears throat> Too bad. What are those things gonna fire, man? Summon run continues. I think at one point during that fight, I had a single hit point left. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys caught that during that fight. I'm pretty sure there, at one point, I literally had a single hit point. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, you saw it too. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had like a single pixel's worth of, of 